Like everyone young, I'm 32. I feel like me, everyone me and under, we're fucked. It's, you know, millennials and under, we're fucked, right? We're the first generation that's gonna do worse than our parents statistically, you know what I mean? Which sucks, but the worst part is that our parents think it was because they were so smart. You know what I mean? That, I can't stand that. I'm tired of hearing it from baby boomers, right? Like their lives were so easy. You could just win a house at a carnival back then, you know what I mean? Just some guy like, oh, oh nice, a three bedroom, awesome. <laughs> Honey, we're moving again. <laughs> yeah, have you ever tried to get advice from them about a job? They're like, well, did you look him in the eye and shake his hand? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> like, huh, well, that's how I became the vice president of Circuit City, so I'm, uh, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> they all think we're children, too. These millennials spending all their money on lollipops. It's like, okay, I need a CPAP machine, actually, but... And these lollipops have weed in them, by the way, so... A little more expensive than you might think. Uh, yeah, sucks. They ruined the world. Global warming, that's them, right? Not for anything good, either. I think it was mostly hairspray, right? That's it. Like, every Bon Jovi concert took a centimeter off the polar ice caps, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, oh, I, now I have to fucking wash my yogurt cups? Why? Why? You wanted a jerry curl, so I have to rinse out garbage now? How is that fair? <laughs> they ruined drunk driving. That was them, right? <laughs> Come on. You know how fun that would be right now? You know what I'm saying? Fucking get on one of those electric scooters four truly steep. That would be sick. But no, somebody couldn't handle their quaaludes, so. But the good news is shit is only gonna continue to get worse, so we're gonna be able to do that to our kids, right? I can't wait to flex on my children, right? Just talking to my adult son, like, hey buddy, come on, you're 30 years old, you can't be splitting a tent with six people anymore, all right? When I was your age, I only had one roommate, and I owned my Nintendo Switch, so you got, you got a lot of growing up to do, pal, okay? Go get a job selling your plasma just like everybody else. Oh, I need to be patient with you? You tell me about patience when you've jacked off to a dial-up internet connection, okay? When you've accidentally busted to a forehead that was still loading, then we can talk about patience. When you have printed out a picture of WWE superstar Trish Stratus, <laughs> on an inkjet printer to jack off to later, then we can talk about patience. Ugh. <laughs> now quiet down, the Boston Dynamics robot might hear us. Uh. <laughs> yeah. There's no like part of the bit where I'm like, but you know what? If we all stick together, we, no, I think we're fucked. <laughs> Unless somebody, you know, assassinates Schmeffery Schmezos, you know what I mean? Like, unless... <laughs> I didn't say it. Legally, I didn't say anything. You can't get me legally. <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. Like that guy gets to just go to the moon and this guy will never see a doctor in his life. You know what I mean? <laughs>